Na tukiachana hayo baadhi ya wanawake katika mitaa ya Korogocho na Kariobangi hapa jijini Nairobi wameungana kwenye kikundi cha Twaweza katika juhudi za kuimarisha maisha yao na ya wasichana ambao walijihusisha na uhalifu na kama anavyoarifu Mashiri Makapombe kikundi hichi hiki hutengeneza mikeka kutoka kwa matambara ambayo yalitupwa na kampuni za kutengeneza nguo. chumba cha kazi cha kikundi cha tuwaweza mtaani Kariobangi kila mmoja akionekana kufurahia kazi ya mikono yake na kila mmoja ana sababu zake za kuwa hapa kwanza nilikuwa mwalimu baada ya kuwa mwalimu nikaona i'm not contented oh, nilikuwa na kaa home nilikuwa tunakaa tu idol siku na kitu ya kufanya mwanzilishi wa kikundi Linda Morgan alianzisha kikundi hiki mwaka na kumi kutokana na dhuluma alizoona wasichana wakipitia eneo hili msichana ambayo alipata mtoto akiwa miaka tisa, which ilini ilinishika roho sana na nikaona she's too young kupata mtoto na ameacha shule na kuwa engaged pia kwa prostitution wasichana hutumika kubeba silaha na pia hautumika kubeba vitu ambavyo zimeshaibwa sasa hao ndio uzichukua wana, wana, wanazibeba na wanajua wakizibeba hakuna ile siku askari anaweza wasimamisha pembeni mwa chumba matambara yaliyosokotwa ya kila rangi yamehifadhiwa Haya ndio hutumika kuunda mikeka na vitambaa vya meza. Mashine hii hutumiwa na wanawake kama Roslyn kuunganisha matambara haya ambayo matokeo yake ni haya. Materials zenye tunatumia kwa carpet na mats mostly tunatoa kwa companies zile zinatengeneza t-shirts so the leftovers than zenye wanapata wanaacha ndio tunaenda tuna collect ata a given price alafu tunakuja tuna streamline tuna cut into the size you'd want to kulingana what are we making mikeka ni ya kila aina kila moja ikiwa na ulimbwende wa aina yake kulingana na mapenzi ya mteja domat hiyo hata 3 hours for inisha ya ukipata ile matukubwa ya floor hiyo uh, hiyo adenda half two days it's done <laughs> Bali na mikeka wanawake hawa hutumia faida ya pesa wanazopata kutengeneza vitambaa vya hedhi wanavyowapo wasichana kutoka familia zisizojiweza na vingine huuzwa na kuwaongezea faida. Wasichana walikuwa wanatumia zile reused pads na pia walikuwa wanatumia maybe blangeti, mengine manguo na mengine pia mattress. Kwa packet moja na kuanga 6 pads. So we sell it at 40 bob. So ni zaidi ya miaka mitano tangu kikundi hiki kianzishwe na kina wanachama ishirini. kati ya hao watano ni wanaume wao pia huunda viatu na kushona nguo ambazo malighafi ni iliyotupwa na kampuni mbalimbali pa month mtu anaweza apata the list anaweza apata ni 6000 maono yao katika miaka mitatu ijayo ni kupanua biashara yao na kuisajili iwe kampuni ili vijana zaidi wapate ajira na kujikimu pasi na kujihusisha na uhalifu youth kwanza waweze kuji ku think beyond na waanze kufikiria kwamba it's our time ya ku turn our lives and not kufikiria white collar jobs haziko kwa hivyo tufikirie kukuwa na kazi za mikono ambazo zitatuempower mo na zinaweza tuletea mapato Kikundi cha Tuwaweza kimewawezesha wasichana na wanawake katika mitaa ya Kariobangi na Korogosho kuimarisha maisha yao bila kupotoka kimaadili Mashirima Kapombe KTN News Nairobi Wakazi wa mji wa Kitengela wamewataka maafisa wa polisi kumtia nguvuni bwana mmoja wa eneo hilo ambaye anajulikana kama mchungaji wa kanisa aliyembaka msichana aliye na akili tahira. Kulingana na mtoto huyo jamaa huyo alimfungia chumbani mwake na kumfanyia kitendo hicho halafu kumuitisha ama kumtishia kumuua iwapo angemshtaki. Wakazi wa Kitengela wamekuwa kimvizia jamaa mmoja ambaye wamemfahamu kama mchungaji afike nyumbani. Wamekuwa wakishinda hapa wakimsubiri ili wamtie nguvuni baada ya kushukiwa kumbaka msichana umri wa miaka 17. Kulingana familia msichana huyo aliye na akili tahira, jamaa huyo alimhada na kumuingiza nyumbani kwake alipokuwa kielekea kumchukua mtoto kutoka shuleni. Ukweli nilipofika kwa nyumba nilipata hayupo 
mtoto ndio yuko na wamama wenzangu wenye tulikuwa nao tukaanza kumtafuta kumtafuta ndio tukampata juu akili yake si she's mentally challenged tukampata huko juu ameenda amekosa mtoto amekuja kukaa huko juu alikuwa na damu kwa nguo uchunguzi wa hospitali pia unaonyesha kuwa msichana huyu alibakwa bini nilika akakuja namwambia nini unataka akaniambia utoki kwa hii mrango namwambia sindikwa naenda kuchukua mtoto shule akasema hapana na sasa jamaa zake wameita kama afisa wa polisi kumtia nguvuni mara moja mchungaji huyo anefika nyumbani nyakati za usiku tangu tukio hilo sasa kamatwe akisha kamatwe election itekwe press cause hakuna mtu atasaupilia mtu amwambie kitendo unafanya ni kipaya wewe pastor mwenyewe unafanya hiyo kitendo hata mwenye unaupilia atafanyaje ni swali ambalo sasa limeingilwa na viongozi wa eneo hilo ambao wameapa kuchukua hatua dhidi ya jamaa huyo Agnes Penda Kiti Timu ya raga ya Kenya ya wachezaji saba ilijikatia tiketi ya kushiriki robo finali ya mashindano ya msururu wa raga duniani mkondo wa Sydney baada ya kushinda mechi mbili na kupoteza moja. Shujaa walipata ushindi dhidi ya Urusi na Scotland kabla ya kupoteza mechi yao dhidi ya Afrika Kusini. Shujaa itachuana na Fiji kwenye robo finali. Australian games and they've got that big marquee matchup a little later tonight against New Zealand. That's how we'll close out day one right now. The Nico Adema. Terrific covering tackle coming from Speckman and tiptoeing along the touchline is Collins in Jira, the try scoring machine. Gore ticker there, the, the Kenyan army. Uh, here comes Sabello Sanatla. He will carve you every <laughs> single time. You can give Sanatla nothing. He bangs it down. Right tapping and going is Wan De Jong. Cross to Speckman and that's going to be an easy tuck. This is going to give the crowd something to cheer. Ambaka. Ambaka. But look at that. They will dance all match long. Wally. Edema. He's going to go right on through. Ayotti, Ayotti's going to make a game of it for Kenya. Two to run. A ton of time left. No oh, look ball out to Ayotti. And he'll go all the way. Kenya get the first points in this one. Go Adima. Now Ayotti straight through a big hole. He makes it a double under the horns. The park, Scotland caught short. There's the try that does it. Busham Wally. Anthony Kimani alifunga bao la pekee lililowapa bandari ushindi dhidi ya Gor Mahia na kutawazwa mabingwa wa kombe la Super Cup katika mechi iliyochezwa uwanjani Mbaraki mjini Mombasa. Mechi hiyo ambayo inashiria mwanzo wa msimu mpya nchini ilikuwa kati ya mabingwa wa ligi kuu na wale wangao ya Go TV. Lilikuwa pambano la mabingwa pale bandari walipoalika Gor Mahia katika mchuano wa Super Cup uwanjani Mbaraki. Gormahia walimkaribisha mkufuzi Frank Natal ambaye alikuwa amerejeshwa baada ya kupigwa kalamu siku ya Alhamisi. Wakufunzi wote walipata fursa ya kuwachezesha wachezaji waliosajiliwa hivi majuzi. Nafasi ya kwanza ilimjia Jacob Kelly lakini akashindwa kuunganisha cross ya Eno Kagwanda. Washambuliaji hao wawili wakaungana tena dakika chache baadaye ambapo Kelly alifanikiwa kucheka na wavu lakini bao likakataliwa kwani alikuwa ameotea. Bandari walipata nafasi yao ya kwanza kunako dakika 15 lakini mkwaju wa Dancer Nkuma ukawa hafifu mno. Kogalo walizidisha mashambulizi lakini mlinda lango Wilson Obungu alikuwa ange. <laughs> Kuwazuia Collins Okoth na Abuba Sibomana. Mlinzi Harun Shakava kaoneshwa kadi nyekundu kabla kuenda mapumzikoni alipomchezea Ngware Dancer Nkuma. Mashambulizi yalififia katika kipindi cha pili lakini Anthony Kimani akaweka bandari kifua mbele katika dakika 67. Bandari walifanikiwa kudhibiti mchezo na kuibuka washindi wa taji hilo ambapo walitia kibindoni shilingi 7.5. And uh, the new DSTV 
champions is Bandari. One goal to nil, scored by Anthony Kimani. Abula Ahmed, Keitin Michezo. It's all that it takes them to give them uh, the winner. Caroline Chepkoech na Bernard Kipkemoi ndio washindi wa mbio za nyika za chuo kikuu cha Egerton zilizoandaliwa katika kaunti ya Nakuru. Chepkoech alihifadhi taji hilo la kinadada ambalo alishinda mwaka 2015. Rispa Chepkoech alimaliza wa pili huku Faith Chepkoech akimaliza wa tatu. Katika upande wa wanaume ushindani mkali ulishuhudiwa baina ya Bernard Kipkemoi na Peter Kipkemei. Kipkemoi alishinda mbio hizo kwa muda wa dakika ishirini na sa sekunde hamsini. Peter Kipkemei alimaliza wa pili. Mashindano hayo yalitumika kama mbinu ya kuwapa elimu wa Kenya kuhusu muhimu wa kulinda mazingira. Na kampuni ya bahati nasibu ya humu nchini Sport Pesa imetia kandarasi na klabu ya kandanda ya Uingereza Arsenal na kuwa kampuni ambayo itaendesha maswala ya bahati nasibu kwa klabu hiyo humu nchini. Mkataba huo utaipa nafasi kampuni hiyo kuwapa vijana nafasi ya kupata mafunzo ya kandanda kutoka kwa makocha wa timu ya Arsenal mara mbili kwa msimu. Mkataba huo pia utaisaidia katika kukuza soka humu nchini. Kwa upande wake klabu ya Arsenal itawapa wa Kenya fursa ya kupata mafunzo kuhusu mbinu za kuendesha masuala ya soka na pia mbinu ambazo zitatumika kuboresha soka humu nchini First of all, Arsenal is the most popular football club not only in Kenya but in Africa. And then also the schools, the Arsenal football schools are very well known in Kenya and It's the one club that we knew uh, Kenyans would identify with, Kenyans would accept uh, so readily and it, would, it gives people something to aspire to. So that the benefit we provide won't just be when we're out there with our coaches but we'll also be training the trainers or coaching the coaches to help them teach those children how to play the Arsenal way even when our coaches aren't directly. Mtazamaji asante sana kukungana nasi kwa taarifa za KTN leo weekend. Jina langu ni Mary Kilobi na mtangazaji wa ishara ni Meresha Awiti. Na basi na kuacha na makala maalum ambayo yanaandaliwa na Agnes Penda makala ya chungu chetu. Uwe na usiku mwema.